got that game already? Yep. Hello there, everyone. It is the D.O.U.G. here, and it's time to take a look at Nickelodeon Kart Racers. Why? Because I'm a sucker for good kart racing game. I already have Crash, Team Racing, Nitro, Refueled, or whatever the fuck they, they're going to call it, pre-ordered. And I do love good kart racing games. They're not as hard or headache-inducing as racing games in general. Um, so we're going to take a look at this. Now, this was kind of recommended by Wicked. And all I gotta say is, oh dear god, the music is fucking annoying. We are turning that music the fuck off. Why? What is it? I've heard elevator music that is better. Is it the main theme? I wanna look it up. I hope not. Alright, so we got the credits page. Music. Alright, so it looks like there is some... Things, uh... It looks like there was a lot of shit to do. And looks like there's a shop as well. So let's take a look at the shop. Uh, it looks like you can buy tires and upgrade shit. Um, looks like there's actually a lot of shit you can buy. Mostly it looks like weapons. Uh, for every character. So It looks like there's multiplayer but it's only offline co-op. I think it, there's no online co-op. Yeah, there's no offline, uh, no online mode. So then we got Time of Track, Free Race, and Grand Prix. Well, uh, let's try the Grand Prix and see what we can do. So we're going to do solo first. Uh, oh, wow. So there's a beginner, a regular, and expert. Well, let's start with... Um, Just go right to expert. Cause oh, fuck. Kids game. Fuck no, okay, because uh, car racing games have been known to either be one or two things. Expert mode can be a pain in the ass. I am looking at you, little big, plan, uh, big planet karting. Or expert mode could be very easy, like in Mod Nation Racers. So I want to try beginning, mostly because guess what? And this is a trend I just want to make a, I want to complain about real quick. What happened to putting manuals in video games? What happened? I remember... It was one of the best things to get in Sega Genesis, PS1 and 2, reading the manual while you're taking a dump. <coughs> yes, I would always read my manuals when I go to the bathroom, because why? Well, back then, as a kid, you didn't have a phone, so you, you had to do something while you took a dump. I'm waiting for somebody to say, that's disgusting. I'm sure somebody will. All right, we're going to do the Stoop Cup. I guess that must be the Hey Arnold. Let's see who we have. We have SpongeBob. I want to stab my eyes out now. Patrick, who... I think... Don't we know somebody named Patrick uh, Vibrator? Yeah. But he owes us money because he's in a fucking video game. He owes us money. Uh, Sandy Squirrel, which, by the way, just I want everybody to look up Rule 36. Uh, no, Rule 42 and type in Sandy. You know... I have enjoyed the nightmare fuel tonight. Rule 34. 34, thank you. Woke up Rule 34 and type in Sandy. And you're welcome for the nightmare fuel. Continuing that, there's Tommy Pickles, Angelica, Reptile, Mikey from the reboot Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Angelica, I mean, not Angelica, Helga, Hey Arnold, Raphael, Leo, Leo and Donnie. Kind of disappointed. Not really a lot of great people to pick from. Um. I'll pick Reptile. Why? Why the fuck is there no Tito from Rocket Power? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna drive with a fat, fat Hawaiian dude. Okay, so. Okay, so we'll just select everything there. Sliding cuts, not your thing. Try track it. Right? Hollywood Riley, Hillwood Riley. Okay, so this is a Hey Arnold stage. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Kind of looks like something you would see on fucking uh, Nintendo Wii, though, not on PlayStation 4. Alright, so all one and L1 are the. Alright, so I see how the steel works, but where is the. Hmm. So far, I gotta say, I'm kinda. This seems like a very bad knockoff of, um. Okay, see how the drifting works, so that's good. Wow, and I just got a trophy. That is. And there's the drifting mechanic. Alright, the drifting works pretty well for what it can be worth. 
and I just threw a baby bottle. What the fuck? Just did a backflip. Wonder what the slime does. I just thought of something dark. What? I think it's actually Rector Sperm. I mean, well, I was in first place for like two seconds. I do not get to deal with what the slime does, but... Ah, crap. Okay, how do you go in reverse? Game! Oh, you gotta be... Where's the... How do you reverse? There is no reverse button. What the fuck? How does it break? Oh. Why the fuck would you make reverse the same button as break? That is stupid. I see the trophy list is easy. I just got two silver trophies. Kind of wish those things mattered again. Oh well. Okay, I gotta say this. It's I've played better car racing games, but this one's not bad. It's definitely better than some of the ones I remember, like... Uh, Disneyland's a cart racing adventure, uh, which if anybody's ever played that, you know that ga that game was shit. Fuck you, everybody do the dinosaur. I wish graphically it was better though. Graphically is like one of my main issues with this game. The controls work fine. I think the AI might be a little stupid. I don't know if that's because it's on beginner or the fact that I'm just having good luck. Hey, it's just to have just give a child false hope. Yeah. Just You're not taking my first first place. By the skin of my teeth. Okay, so they kind of rip off the Mario Kart racing thing where first place is 10, second is 9. So pretty much if you want to win the championship, you probably have to get first place at least a few times. At least three out of the four times. Alright. I will say though, I actually got this for like $30. Originally when it came out, it was $40. Um, if you could find it pre-owned and now there's... Uh, now what looks like we're on the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stage, because um, I just saw Shredder take on um, Splendor. I've seen a lot of people may have bought this game, you know, for the easy platinum, which wouldn't surprise me. Cause most most kid games have an easy platinum. Um, not all. There's a few that do not. Get him, Master Splinter. And now for some reason I'm in a river of slime. And I just got hit with jellyfish. Fuck you, SpongeBob. I really hope it was it was slime and not some kind of sperm. Granted, it could be reptile sperm since he is green. That wouldn't make sense. I would say, I like how the tracks look. I just think they could be a little better. I think I mean, audio is good. Granted, the soundtrack I turned down because the, if the soundtrack menu is terrible, I'm afraid that's what the rest of this is. 
There was no auto targeting, so that's kind of disappointing. I'm over. I gotta say, I'm not uh, for thirty dollars. This is not a bad game. I could, I you could, you could do a lot worse. I've heard people say that's actually a pretty good game, but I haven't had, I don't have, haven't had a chance to buy it yet. I mean, I did pick me up a fifty dollar card to get on the. Um, If there's a flash show going on this week or say in general for Christmas and somebody just threw pizza at my face fuck you I will say Arnold is a bitch he can go to hell he's a dirty little kid he needs to die Uh, hmm. Oh, the boost button is triangle. Why the hell is boost the triangle button? Because they did a bunch of cocaine while making the game. Oh, that, well, that would make sense. Boost! Out of my way! Reptile wants to win the damn race! I will say this, even on beginner, the AI is kind of a dick. Like I said, dick. Wow, Reptor just turned behind me and gave me that look like, fuck you, Doug. You're a terrible driver. Which my family can attest to that, I am a terrible driver. Wow, I still got first place even after everybody hit me with every damn weapon they got. Okay, Mikey, stop trying to fuck me in the ass. God damn. And leaderboard right now. Uh, Reptiles in first, followed by Arnold, Donnie, Mikey, Sponge Ass, Hell. So, okay, pretty much all the characters are in this race but Tommy. Hmm. So, let's do another race. Slime to be. Slime to party? What the hell is this stage from? Last race will be booted every time the time- Oh, it's an elimination race. Oh, fuck. This looks like a- This looks like something- Somebody had too much fun with Double Dare. Everybody eat my fire- hey, Who the hell hit me? Fuck off. Doug is winning this race today, so just deal with it. Eat my bubbles. Hey, I said I do. You eat my bubbles. I don't want to eat yours, Mikey. Yours might be up your. Yours might have been up your ass. We time to do a jump. Out of my way. First place. Wow, I'm flying. All right, so the last race will be booted every 18 seconds, okay. Well, luckily for me, I am not last. I am in first place.
And Donatello, I mean, no, Leonardo's been eliminated. Because he sucks. So how was your guys' Monday today? Boring as fuck. Well, if you don't want to hear something that's not boring, the Oakland Raiders fouled their GM today. Oh, wow. Blaming their GM for absolutely... For... Didn't have any say in their moves. Exactly, yeah. Apparently they fouled him because they want to blame him for the loss of, um... Mac and uh, Cooper, you know, who are doing so much better on the teams they're on right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Coley Mac had a spectacular game against the Rams. Mark Cooper had a spectacular game against the, the Eagles, and... Oh. All three of Dallas's touchdowns came from Cooper. Or oh, touchdown passes. And... I think he's gonna... I think he'll get another shot in a different team. Um... I think a confident franchise will look at a Ruggers and be like, yeah, yeah, and yeah you're decent. Speaking of football, let's talk about the Steelers and Ravens, because at this point, they're the two teams contending for their division. Looking at the schedule, Baltimore has the best chance to win the win the division, because they play Tampa Bay. That's a, That should be a win. The Chargers, which, that could be a, that's a coin flip. And then you play Cleveland. Pittsburgh plays the Patriots. Then the Saints. And then Cincy. There was a very good chance that the Steelers could lose all three games. Oh, you're going to say all three? There's a chance. I'm not going to guarantee it, but... And I think we're done with this game, actually. Um, I think that was the last race. So what's next? He gave me the trophy for Stoop Kid. Score hijinks, beginner. Oh, looks like we're not done yet. Fourth race. I don't want to get false hope, though. Yeah, it's, I mean. I understand that. This is, this is the ballpark race. We can't have anything nice. And I'm untouchable. So now it looks like we're in Arnold School. I will say, I do like how they did lay out the tracks, even though they look like shit. And the trophy list is easy, so, hmm. Time to give my score. Overall, this game is not bad. Could, it be, could be better, could be worse. For $30, there's, there's other games you could buy that are terrible. But there are other games you can buy that are better. That are better, yes. Now, if you need a kart racing game to hold you over to a crash team racing comes out on PlayStation 4 next year, this won't be a bad thing to pick up, mostly because I can't really think of a, another kart racing game out there at the moment. Um, I'm sure somebody can think of one. You put it in the comments section below. Which one? Nothing. Oh, I didn't say anything. Repeat that again. I was not suggesting Gran Turismo over and over. Gran Turismo is not a kart racing game. That's a racing game. I don't. I don't fucking care. There is a difference between the two. Don't. <laughs> but overall, if you have 30 bucks and you grew up on watching good Nickelodeon shows from back in the day, this will tug at your heartstrings a little bit for the nostalgia. And like I said, if you need something to hold you over till Crash Kart Racing comes out, this would be a good idea. Um, and if you're a trophy hunter, it, it, it looks like the trophy list is so easy that a caveman can do it. So overall, Nickelodeon Kart Racers gets about a 3 out of 5. Not bad, not great, but it does what it's supposed to do. Um, now, of course, if you played this game, please let me know in the comments section below. Did you enjoy it, or do you think it may be overpriced just for nostalgic reasons? Let me know in the comments section. Now, I would ask my two buddies, 45 and Vibrator, but they don't own the game. And remember, the best thing about this, you can turn off the music and play what you want, because if I was not doing a clip of this... I'd probably be playing uh, some OSW reviews in the background. Okay, my 
Mikey, go to hell. Mikey's try Mikey was trying to jump on my dinosaur dick. And it is funny seeing Reptile said every time he does a toba, his head just drip lashes back. Like he's being shot. You didn't win, Mikey. Now look my dinosaur ass. And the results are oh, Reptile got first place, followed by Arnold, Donnie, Mikey got fourth, Helco got fifth, Patrick got sixth, SpongeBob got seventh, and Jellico and Raphael tied for eighth, but ten, and Leo proved why he sucks. Level up. Victory lap. I get a victory lap? Okay. Huh. Okay, this must. Oh, because you can collect coins to buy upgraded shit. That's right. That's oh, kind of cool that it give you a victory lap. That's not even in Crash Bandicoot. You just get a trophy and be like, here you go, motherfucker, have a trophy. Eyes on me, trophy unlocked. 100 plus coins. Total van paint job. Jolly Ollie ice cream truck paint job. What the fuck? Coins. Now let's see me get the trophy so, so Reptile can hold the trophy. Oh my god. They look ugly as shit when you see them up close. Oh my god. And I just got covered in green slime. What the fuck? Who let Shrek come on me? Well, that's been Nickelodeon Kart Races, guys. 3 out of 5. I kind of recommend it if you're an old guy who grew up on Nickelodeon in the 90s. Or if you just want to get something to hold you over to Crash Team Racing comes out in, I believe it comes out in June. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.